Welcome to the 2008 Women's Visa Championships, the national championship of the sport of gymnastics. This is the first of two days of competition at Aganis Arena on the campus of Boston University in Boston, Massachusetts. Two stars, and it's a true rarity that the United States can look to an Olympic Games and be this close to Beijing and have two women who have a legitimate chance to win the overall all-around title. That's Nastia Liukin. Twice in a row, she won the U.S. National Championship, and now she's looking to use this one as a building block for what she hopes to happen in Beijing. And then there is the other star of this competition, most likely, right out of central casting, the pride of West Des Moines, Iowa, Sean Johnson. She had a perfect 2007, becoming a U.S. National Champion and then becoming a world champion. And she comes looking to defend her national championship, but we all know what the 800-pound gorilla in the room is. It's Beijing, and it's right around the corner. Now, this is going to be a brand new floor exercise, new music. And hold on, Al. This is, this is unbelievable. She is, she's the current world champion on this event, and she does some of the biggest gymnastics in the world. She'll start out with a double twisting, double somersault. That's two flips, two twists, and it is just gigantic. And Sean also chose this piece of music because she wanted something that wasn't quite as juniorish as she put it. She thought her other floor exercise music was a little too spunky. She saw the movie August Rush and knew right away that that was the music for her. So these floor exercise routines, they, they are just endurance monsters. She has done four tumbling passes and now she's got one more. Yeah, just number five, no big deal. <laughs> Sean Johnson, 15.95. That's a big number on floor exercise. You know, all of these different events right here, they, they, some of them are judged a little more strictly. It's, it's hard to get a big number on floor exercise. Two-time national champion. She's won nine world championship medals. deduction she will lose more for putting her hands and knees on the floor and then stepping out of bounds is another one on top of that
hey, there's a chance we could be talking about this when this national championship is decided. Yeah, there's uh, no question about that. You know, last year she was dealing with this ankle injury and every competition we'd see her in, it was just, it was devastating. But she came here to Boston and in training, she's been capable of, of doing this routine. She, it doesn't look like it's, you know, excruciatingly painful. She's doing a number of repetitions in practice. I, I really think that that, what we saw there, that, that was just a fluke. Back in Boston, Massachusetts, and what could be a costly mistake on floor exercise costs Nastia Liukin after the first rotation. She is in 13th place with a 14.25. That was more than one mistake that the judges saw. And right now, Sean Johnson has the lead. Liukin wants to do something about that 14.25 14 14 on floor exercise. And she will, right here. Um, it, it's not the most difficult vault, but in a lot of ways, this showcases exactly what is so great about Nastia. Her body line, her form is impeccable. Wow! There you go. That's a nice follow up. 14.9, what's up with that? Well, the score of the vault only starts at a 15.5, and to be perfectly honest, I, I don't know. I've seen her do that vault and, and get 15 ones. Oh, that's a little bit low. I think that... Did you see six tenths of the dozens No, I, I didn't at all. I did not at all. We continue in Boston, Massachusetts at Aganis Arena on the campus of Boston University. Sean Johnson set for as Tim Daggett calls it, a kooky vault. <laughs> well, she tried this vault at the American Cup earlier this year and was not su successful, but this is what it's all about, doing it under pressure. She needs to have it happen now. Big time. And that is a Beijing smile right there. Sean Johnson continues on a roll, another 16, that's back to back. The 2008 Visa Championships continue in Boston halfway through the first day of competition, and it's been obvious who the best gymnast is. Back-to-back -back 16s, yeah, she is larger than life right now in the sport, Sean Johnson. Now, Nastia Liukin is in her strong place. Yeah, this, this as, as incredible as Sean Johnson is on vaulting, Nastia is better than that on uneven bars. There, there's really, there's not another gymnast in the world that could perform this routine. And it, there are many aspects of it and many small parts of it where gymnasts can't do this routine. It, it gets really wild right here. Beautiful extension, but watch, watch all these, these full turns. And perfect handstand positions. Now watch this one, she'll do a full and a half and then have to go right into this release. Giant air. She does this as well as anybody. Watch, she just flies from high bar. Wow, to the low bar, beautiful. She was runner up at the last Worlds and with this routine, there are a couple of Chinese that are great too, but she is phenomenal. Nastia Liukin has just hit it over the Green Monster at Fenway. A 17.05, a gymnastic home run. You're looking at our leader after two events in this first night of competition. 16-year-old from West Des Moines, Iowa, Sean Johnson. And this is, is not Sean's best event, but she, what, she doesn't have the difficulty, certainly, of Nastia, but she does it extremely well. The high point actually comes at the very end. It, double twisting, double somersault. <laughs> Here comes another release right here. I have to say, what she's done is she's choreographed this routine extremely well. And yes, she may not have the same difficulty as Nastia, but what you can count on is Sean Johnson hitting. Yeah. And, and that's important in the team aspect. And she, her angles are, are great. And this dismount. Wow, it's fabulous.
Deshaun Johnson has scored a 15.4 on the uneven bars. So that is where Nastia Lukin gains a point and a half. What a difference the uneven bars can be in the Visa Championships. Nastia Lukin goes from 12th to 2nd on the uneven bars with a 17.05. Sean Johnson remains your leader by 1.25. Here goes Nastia Lukin on the balance beam. Another opportunity for Nastia, a very high scoring event for her. She is, in fact, the world champion. But I have to say, in practice all week, this was the one event where I saw her do more perfect routines than on any other apparatus. Sometimes it sounds like we're nitpicking, but even when we try to nitpick, she can do routines where there's, there's absolutely nothing to say. Watch this right here. This is her own skill. She'll do a front flip and land on one leg. Right to that oh. horizontal scale position. Just beautiful. beautiful. It's not just the difficult moves, but the way she presents it, you know, up on her toes all the time and just really the execution. I mean, that is hard, hard work and it's exhausting. That one leg landing is ridiculous. Yeah, beautiful. Well, she struggled on her first event, but from that point on, she was as good as she can be. Liukin has been given a 16.1 on the balance beam. Wow. Sean Johnson just needs to do better than a 14.85 to keep her lead. And that is very, very doable. His first tumbling run is, is crazy. Tumbles, tumbles wow. down the length of the beam. It's... Yeah, you really just shouldn't. Watch this right here, back with a fall. <laughs> oh my. Chris. Very different style from Nastia. But so far, personally, I have zero off. Maybe, maybe a little bit on one of the leaps, not enough flexibility, but. Not enough flexibility. Yeah, that's being yeah. picky. <laughs> you know, it, it is picky, but they're, believe me, the judges on the floor, they're taking it, you know? But look it's at those uh, landings. They oh, are no. just <laughs> bang on. They are, she's just so sure of everything she's doing. That was beautiful. Watch this right here. The only one doing this. Full twisting double. The only flaw. There's the winner of not just the all around tonight, but that should be the highest balance beam score. Here's where we stand now after the first night of competition. Nastia Lukin is trailing by 1.15. Remember, she had fallen well out of the top 10. Nastia comes into this competition. Her dad tells me she is just like him. He says the worst, absolute worst thing was second place. It's the worst thing. He won four gold medals at the 1988 Olympic Games. 20 years from now, from then, she'll try to do it too. It's a good start, not a great start. Yeah, she was better on day one. The vault was fantastic, huge power, beautiful body position in the air. The thing that she did, day one, that she did not do there, Al, she stuck the landing there. She had a big step. 
Nastia gets a score of 14.9 in the new world of gymnastics. And now to the it girl, Sean Johnson from West Des Moines, Iowa. One day she walked into the gym run by a couple of transplanted Chinese gymnastics teachers, and they said, we've got something, and boy do they. The national champion from Chow Gymnastics in Iowa, Sean Johnson, and you can hear it in the crowd, these people love her. And this is very new for her still. Hardest vault in the competition. And dead on. And she, she is one happy camper right now. Sean Johnson gets another big number, 16.0. This is where she gets her points, and this is where Nastia Liukin looks to the uneven bars to get them back. Top 12 will advance to the Olympic trials. Chelsea Memel has been one of the brightest stories with her consistency here in Boston. Sean Johnson has a comfortable lead. Nastia Liukin is there, but that will change in the uneven bars. Boys perfectly for the Olympic Games on the 8th of August. She remembers it like it was yesterday. Three years ago, around that time, her coach Chow said it's only a thousand days to the <laughs> Olympic Games. She's here now and she cannot believe it. What a trip it'll be for that great guy right there. Done an amazing job, has coached her since her first forward role in the sport of gymnastics. He was a national team member for China. He'll get to go back with Sean as well. The pride, the opportunity. Yeah, it's, it's, it gives you goosebumps. Dead on on her first release. Now this is not Sean's best event. This is the place where she just wants to get through very cleanly. This is where it all gets a little crazy right here. Double twisting, double somersault. That is huge hard. Sean Johnson, rock solid, 15.55. And Nastia was a little bit more than two points behind Sean. She's gonna get back almost all of that if she hits this routine. She's capable of, of actually scoring in the 17 point range, which is which is just gigantic. She did 17.05 on the first day and well deserved. And you know, when you're watching this set, you really need to just sit back and enjoy it because this, this event is all about the lines and hitting your perfect handstand positions. And this is textbook material right here. This is what all the gymnasts need to be watching, how bars is done right here. But the thing that really sets her apart is that skills come one after another, big skills. She doesn't have a lot of filler at all. Coming up right here, she's gonna do a full spin, and now it's really wild. Right here, she'll do a full and a half turn right here into a release. It just never stops. Damn. Now tell me this doesn't look like someone playing on a, a playground, just flying around. Speaking of flying, she's gonna fly down to the low bar. Wow. Look at that, beautiful <laughs> execution, and the whole time, those ankles are glued together, and trust me, that is not an easy thing to do throughout this very difficult set. Just the dismount. Routine after routine. Oh! Whoa, baby. That was close. Nastia Liukin gets a 17.10, which is actually a better score than we saw on night one. Well, the judges are saying a couple of things. They're either saying that she had really no errors besides the dismount because they could have taken a tenth for the step and then five for leaning over, or they're saying that they just didn't think that she landed that low. I, I, got, I, got, to, I got to tell you, it was an amazing routine. Unbelievable routine. There were a few deductions, a few handstands that were a little bit past. That was a little high. A steely competitor Nastia is, though, she has climbed to within seven tenths, so the game dramatically changes on the uneven bars. Sean Johnson's lead over Nastia Lukin is seven tenths. And I, I have to say that I thought that she was a little bit underscored in day one. Her gymnastics, the gymnastics elements on the beam, the landings, they were perfect. She had, you know, a little bit of lack of flexibility on some of the leaps and the dismount was a little off, but it is, this is a gigantic routine.
this will be her first big tumbling that takes the entire length of the beam. Oh. <laughs> you know, I've, I haven't, I have not seen her wobble on that, and that is so hard. It's not just the element, but it's how she does it. Most of the athletes, they, they don't really punch. They kind of jump softly. Bam. See her really lifting those arms up immediately after she lands, checking, checking all her landings, making sure she's directly in line with the beam. Oh, she is so tough. Wow. Dismount, she did not have enough rotation in the first day. Very difficult. She'll do a double back with a full twist. She lands this. I think the title is hers. And on this event, she's just a natural talent. She's the world champion. This this balance beam was made for her, it was made for her look, her style. She's exquisite on this event. I don't, I don't believe anyone does it quite as beautifully as Nastia. No, I, I'd have to agree with you there. She doesn't have the same level of difficulty. Sean Johnson gets a huge 16.3 for what she did on the balance beam. Yeah, that is a, that is a very big number. Three tenths of a point higher than she did in day one. I believe Nastia scored 16.1. That's correct. But what you'll see in a totally different style is an elegance there's a fluidity to her work. It's, there's a calmness. There's excellent flexibility. She just, you know, works the balance beam like she's on the floor exercise. Darn good so yeah. far. <laughs> you know, all we can practice, there were routines that Nastia did that were back to back perfection. She didn't move. Watch this skill. She'll land, she'll do a front flip and she'll land on one leg. This is her own move. And others are trying it, but they're not making it look quite like that. It's beautiful. And this leap that's coming up, believe it or not, this has the highest level of difficulty in the exercise right here. The reason she tips her head back and loses sight of that beam. Takes a little bit of risk. Just like on this dismount, it's a blind landing. Wow. Oh that was big. Wow. That was big. Everything above 16.3 eats into Sean Johnson's 7-10th lead. Nasty Ilyukin has been given a score of 16.25, meaning she gives an extra five hundredths to Sean Johnson. So now Sean Johnson lead is 0.75. It would take a major mistake on the floor, which is where this national championship will be decided. And now to the kid, who will try and nail down a back-to-back -back national championship, just like Nasty Ilyukin did. Tim, this, you, you and I, we, we talk about fate and destiny sometimes. She just looks like good things are going to happen she for did, her. They just put the wrong music on, I believe, or she was not prepared for it. I, I, I don't know what happened. But she didn't start, did she? I don't it, think it started the right way. It started a little bit into... Now, this is... This will be a real test here. <laughs> she passed so far. Whoa. 
like I said, she's just got to land on her feet on all those tumbling passes. That one was a little scary. about to it. I think they call that back to back. No question about it. There is your 2008 national all-around champion. And she receives a very strong 16.2 for her performance on the floor exercise and that's even better than she had on night one. We've just been told that they have increased Nastia, Nastia Lukin's beam score to 16.35 so before Sean Johnson went her lead was actually back to 7 tenths oh. 0. 0.65 I 0. Think. 0.65 you are right Tim so day one it wasn't the first pass that gave her a problem it was pass number two Nastia needs better than a 16.95 to take the lead <laughs> Just a little different. Yeah, since that ankle injury, I have never seen her look so confident, so clean, and so great. That is, that is going to, that, that was wonderful. 15.85, the national champion for a second consecutive year, is the pride of West Des Moines, Iowa, Sean Johnson. Sean Johnson has repeated as national champion. If Nastia Liukin had done the floor exercise that she did today on night one instead of the bad mistake, she would have won the national championship. That's how much it...